and don't get bored, okay? And if you do get bored with us, just um be like what my other mommy did. If you want to style, make sure you style us to another mommy that's going to really love us or a daddy that's really, really going to love us. And or just make us look pretty and rest us to the side on, the, on any little room or on the couch if you want to. Um, if you got too bored, okay? All right. <laughs> Say, don't put us in the closet. Please don't put us in the closet. <laughs>video of the day you guys so i said i want to come back and make another video because today is theme thursday and if, as you saw in the beginning of the video i have a really cute purple outfit to put on this little girl today and i have a little purple in my outfit myself today so we're gonna do this right little miss camilla say yes mommy we're gonna do this we're gonna get dressed all up so as you can see she's stealing her first outfit change that i gave her and i wanted to let her experience her first theme Thursday in our nursery so yeah so I'm just on today to change her and um yeah some of you may or may not have saw my first video that I put up for today which was my um my daddy day challenge video with my little kiddo in the background her it's just sitting off in the chair being a good boy and before we go back upstairs so yeah, I'm kind of just hanging out in the nursery all day because I've been working um like I said sometimes I make tutus and costumes for people so yeah, a friend of mine asked me what I make her one. Now, I've had a few requests because, of course, you know, it's that season. People want costumes and stuff. So, I've had a few requests, but I've been very busy. So, I've only taken hers because, um, yeah, it's, you know, I consider her a close friend. So, um, I, I say, yeah, I'll just do it for her, you know. But, yeah, guys, so... Uh, I'm here with this little girl and I just want to chat a little bit because I was watching, you know, my Dolly Friends videos. Um, you know, there's a few people out here doing the Dolly Day Challenge, jumped on the challenge. That's super cool and excited. Um, let me lay you down, baby, because you're such a big girl. Yeah, such a big, big girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> She's a big girl, you guys. So changing her in my lap is like, ah, oh, she's about this small, baby. <laughs> But we're going to do this, right, little Miss Camille? She's cracking up. Look at her face, guys. She's cracking up laughing. <laughs> let me see if I can put the, um, let me see if I can sit back a little more so I can see us. Hold on a minute. Let's see what I could do. Okay, guys, I'm back. This seems like it's a little better, so let me lay her down, get her pants off. Says so that's a big girl. <laughs> you want to play while I'm changing your clothes, don't you? You want to play while I'm changing your clothes. But yeah, as, as I was saying, I just wanted to chat. I was watching one of my Dolly Friends videos and she was talking about, um, she had a topic, are you getting bored? Are you getting bored with Reborn Dolls or with the hobby? And um, it was interesting listening to her, but she's been at it for a very long time. So it made me wonder, like you guys that's out there that's been at Reborn and playing with dolls and been in this community, I should say, been in the actual community, do you get bored? I know for me, it's not even necessarily that I get bored. I know for me, I just, when I don't feel like playing, I just don't play, you know. But I wouldn't necessarily call myself getting bored because I still really, really, really love my babies. And I love to look at them. I still love to dress them. And even if I don't play with them, I I like having them. But I don't, I wouldn't necessarily call, them, call it boredom because it's just something that, you know, what, a part of my life now, you know, having these dolls and having this doll life again it's just it's just part of what i do now you know so i was wondering like this of you that's been in the in, in in the community for a really long time um do you feel bored do you get bored of your dolls sometimes or feel like giving them up and just selling all of them or anything like that do you ever, ha ever have those types of feelings at all i'm just wondering I, I find it very curious you know make me wonder but i'm sure you could get tired of it you know tired of playing i know if you get tired of playing like okay i'm not playing with my dolls right now 
but it's, it's, it's not to the point of like, um, just not doing anything with them at all because even if I don't change the clothes or anything, I still pick up somebody. Somebody's getting picked up. And probably has the reason why I even have bedroom babies. Like my email, I have my couple of doors that I keep upstairs in my room. Um, of course, my pudding is one of those babies. And even if I don't necessarily change them, I still want to pick them up and love them up and just have them around, you know. And even in my nursery, like, my nursery is kind of, it's getting a little better. I kind of had it on a real mess, you guys. Stuff was all over the place from pulling on stuff and not putting it away. But, um... Even just having my doors set up in my nursery, like sometimes, like if I haven't really like physically played with my doors for a little while, I would like come in the nursery and shift them around because I just want to see them in a different position. Like I would say, okay, let me stand her up over there or let me sit that one in that chair or whatever, you know, something like that. So I, yeah, I, I am still very much into my babies, you know, so, but I guess you can't get bored of it. Like if you feel like, okay, I'm dead enough. Now, what shot I'm going to put on you, baby? Because I put, she's got this lovely little crown. Look at the crown, guys. It's so pretty, right? And it's a perfect match to her tutu. I have, in the big, as you saw in the beginning, I have pulled two shots. I have this one right here, which is um really cute. It's got a nice butterfly, and it's a size 24 months. But I also had this one as well, which is only a size 12 months. But I know these clothes run different sometimes. And it looks small but then again it might fit and i like this one a little bit more because i feel like that it matches the um tutu a little better but i'm gonna try it and see how it fits her turn on to me baby let me see if i could get this on you let's see if i can get this on you and then i have other you know i've got still got two doors outstanding that i'm looking to get and um hopefully you know they one of them be her soon. I'm hoping my one of them be her soon. So I'm, I'm still like excited about it. But I, I'm thinking like if you've been doing it for many years, making videos and stuff, you know, you probably can't get tired of it and can't get bored of it. You know, I guess it's not unheard of. I thought, I thought that was interesting. But I'm thinking like if you got bored, you got bored, just put them down. You know, just put them down for a little while. Put them down, I guarantee you, you're going to probably come back to them at some point. Because I know for me, um, I've always been a door lover, but then life happens, you know. And I didn't I didn't find out about the door community until 2018. That's the first I heard of the door community. That is a whole community of people out here, like-minded people that love and play doors. So I didn't know about that before then. I was just a personal door lover, like somebody that just loved doors. Like I said, I still had... Those from when I was a little girl, still kept my dolls, always still looked at dolls and everything. Never really bought any because, you know, I had small children to deal with. And, um, you know, I was raising a family. I had my husband, my children. I didn't really have time to play with dolls back then, you know. But I still had my dolls. I still had them, like, let's see if I can get it untwisted, baby. Say, mama, you know this is too, you know this is too small from her neck. It's kind of loose a little bit. I'm going to figure out how to tighten it back down, but I'll figure that out later. I'll figure that out later. I actually, it doesn't, it doesn't look bad, baby. It's just like a fitted top. So let's see. Let's see, girl. But yeah, so I have put my dolls down for many years, you know. But with my, I always kept one that was at the forefront. That's my wazoo. She's up there. She was always kind of at the forefront, always kind of out there. Every very now and then I would change the clothes seasonally, like put them in outfits for winter, spring, summer, and fall. And um, then when I pick back up this hobby, you know, everybody, my children are all adults now. I find out about this whole community of people that love and play with dolls, adults like me. It was super exciting, um, learning about all the reborns and stuff, and... Yeah, so I'm in deep right now, guys. I'm in deep. Like, I'm loving everything about playing with those right now and having this hobby. I'm loving everything about it because I am genuinely a person that genuinely loves those up to this day. Like, you know, always here. That never disappeared. The love for the doors never disappeared. Look at this nice tutu. Hey, baby, your game looks so cute, girl. Oh, my gosh. Your game looks so so, so cute in this outfit. I could just tell. I could just tell, Camille. I could just tell you're going to look so super cute in this outfit. Yes, you are. 
Yes, you are. I can tell, baby. Hey, mommy, I look cute already. Yes, you most certainly do, girl. <laughs> so, you're yeah, discovering it again. It keeps me super excited. But, of course, we all have our lives and so much different things going on in our lives. And all of us dealing with different stuff and, you know, all of that. And all of that pay, plays a part in, I guess, whether you're going to get bored or get tired of, 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 of doing it, you know. Playing this game or playing these doors, I guess all of that could be a part of it. You know, you have a lot happening. And then sometimes your interest just lies elsewhere. Like, for an example, I love journaling. I love to journal. I love making journal books. I love scrapbooking. I love all that type of stuff. But since I've been back into my doors, I hardly scrapbook anymore because I'm into these, I'm into these baby doors, you know? So I'm hardly been scrapbooking and stuff like that. I'm just been like, yeah, whatever. I don't worry about the scrapbooks. I don't worry about looking at baby clothes again. <laughs> And buying stuff for these dolls, you know. So sometimes um other things take your interest. You know, other hobbies may take your interest. So that could happen too. Yeah, but it does make me wonder. And what you guys do when you get tired of your dolls? Are you one of those type of people if you get tired of your dolls, you just go and sell them off and all that kind of stuff? Do you do that or do you just pack them away or anything like that? What what do you do? I know for me, like I said, when I don't feel like playing dolls. Um I just leave them. I just leave them alone. I don't feel like playing with them. Like I don't make a video or anything like that. I don't feel like making a video. I just don't make one. I don't feel like playing with them. It's like all my dolls and I don't play with every single doll and all that type of stuff. Does this hurt? You know, and I love having them. So that's how it is for me. With these doll babies. You are so pretty, girl. I am so happy to have you here in this house and in this mansion with me you sweet me keep me you really do you are one beautiful beautiful girl and you sweet mama's life yes you do let's give you another bit another bun because we're going to put that pretty um little princess crown on your head because that little princess is your tutu on right and your long socks right let's put these and i've got these gold um little elders I'm gonna stick on her feet. Cause she's got a little girl in her in her dress. Yeah, but you know, our lives begin to occupy sometimes. We got caught up doing all this stuff. Can these fit you? Hmm? Can these fit you? They can't even fit you, baby. These might be too small for you, girl. See? I'm gonna have to find a different shoe for you. I'm just gonna have to find a different shoe for you, but that's okay because little pretty girls can put on whatever shoes with this. So let mommy find a different shoe for you, okay? Because I think these might be too tight. Unless I have to take your sock off. Let's see what happens if I take your sock off. Maybe it's too too small with your sock. And sometimes these saw shoes they stretch, so it could kind of still work. Oh look, I got it on. I think these I couldn't get it on with the sock though. Let's see. Okay, it's on. I just couldn't get on. So you're gonna have to wear no socks, baby, because the socks make it too tight. Let's take your other sock off. And let me see how it looks. Yes, you're gonna look pretty, babe, aren't you? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> yes, you're gonna look super pretty. Yes, you are. Say, mommy, I don't need socks. I'm still gonna look pretty. I'm still gonna look super pretty. And that you are. That you are. But yeah, and this is where like um even the uh you know the thirty day challenge is fun because for people that might have a hard time making videos and stuff, you know, this gives you a chance to get on and just make a video or fall in love with the hobby again, you know, who knows? But yeah, I was just wondering like, do you guys get bored? And if you do get bored, what you're doing about it? And have you ever been bored in this hobby? How long have you been in it? This is and this is my. Mm, 2020 so this is like my second year in the actual reborn community my second year in the community you know since 2018 all of 2019 now all of 2020 yeah. and i love it i love it i love it i really do and like i love comments i love seeing everybody's comments and stuff and seeing everybody's videos and everything and all that type of stuff i love the interaction all of that even if I don't always get a chance to comment back or whatever, I still love the interaction that we have. 
Look at my little princess. Hey, little princess. See, now this is all the stuff that makes me excited. Look at this little princess. How cute is she? How cute are you, mama? How cute are you? Huh? How cute are you? You look so adorable in this tutu. I knew it was going to look nice on you. As soon as I saw it, I was like, okay, little Miss Camille will be doing theme Darcy in her purple and girl tutu. Yes, she will. You look so precious. Yes, you do with your girl sneaks. Yep, you look cute, girl. You look cute, girl. Yeah, guys, so I just wanted to chat about the Yiga Board. Um, the the dolly friend that I was watching was Littlefoot. Littlefoot Nursery. Leon over there, Littlefoot Nursery. She always has nice topics and stuff. And then I was listening to her video today. I was like, you know, that's interesting. That's really interesting about, you know, the Yiga Board. Like, but I don't, not yet. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I'm still loving the heck out of all these babies. I need to change more. Like, Kiki needs an outfit change. She say, Mommy, you have been neglecting me. You tell, me, you tell people I'm your favorite. I'm the signature baby, but you haven't changed my class. But Kiki, I need to have... It's, it's, it's Camille's time right now. It's Camille's time right now. <laughs> it's Camille's time right now. She's the new baby. And probably if Camille weren't her, you probably would have been putting this outfit on. I, 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 that's how I would have been, but... You'll be next, baby, I promise. <laughs> But here's little Miss Camille, guys. And she looks so, 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 so cute. Mm -hmm. So happy to have this girl in my neck. She's my big girl. She's my big girl. Yes, she is. I look at Camille as like, let me see. Camille to me, she is a big girl. She's like almost two years old. More two than anything else, I'm thinking. She's like two. Yeah, that's what that is. And she can say stuff. She can say words. And she can always tell I'm station. She's very, a very smart girl. A very happy girl. And a very pretty face. <laughs> Come here. Say bye to your Dolly family, baby. Say thank you for joining us for the Thursday. We love you, Dolly family. And don't get bored, okay? And if you do get bored with us, just, um... Be like what my other mommy did. If you want to style, make sure you style us to another mommy that's going to really love us or a daddy that's really, really going to love us and or just make us look pretty and rest us to the side on the, on, in the little room or on the couch if you want to, um, if you got too bored, okay? All right. <laughs> Say, don't put it in the closet. Please don't put it in the closet. <laughs> I love you, Dolly family. And remember, it's your dose, your way. Bye-bye. Say bye, Mimi. Say mwah. <laughs>